The Three Stooges certainly couldn't get three points today in the Cinch Premiership as Hearts drew 0-0 nil -nil with Kilmarnock. And I wish I could sit here and say this one didn't bother me, but normally it wouldn't. But I was waiting on big bucks. I was waiting on Hearts. 10-11 Hearts. Nice wee, you know, Hearts at home against Kelly. I don't care if Kelly have won, right? The last four out of five visits to Tyne Castle, with the exception being last season in the league. Now, they did beat Hearts. Last season in the League Cup in the last 16, 1-0. I don't care about that. I don't care if Kelly beat Rangers last week because Rangers were shite last week. I want the Hearts to win this and they didn't win it. And the Three Stooges, it, it, it's a fucking mess, right? Because you've got big Frankie before the game and then after the game you've got Naismith. And I don't even know who the other guy is. I have no idea who the other guy is, right? So this is just a mess. And it's not like you can say Hearts were hard done by it. Sander Clark kept them... In it today, Matty Kennedy, for me, based off sports scene, because, you know, it was it was harder than Madeleine McCann to find this game early if you wanted to watch it. But for me, Matty Kennedy looked the most impressive in the uh, in the match. But it was just, I just expect better for Hearts. You know, as some people would say here that Hearts should realistically only be dropping points against the old firm, not against fucking Kelly at Tyne Castle. And that's what they exactly what they went on to um, do, but Matty Kennedy had a shot saved in the first half of Santa Clark alongside uh, Kyle McGuinness. Also Stuart Finlay, he had a long distance shot that went past the post, but I mean, it was, wasn't really troubling anybody, even if he fought. But Kelly, considering it actually took them right up until April to uh, win their first game on the road last season, I think Derek McKenzie will be relatively pleased with the start to the season to play Rangers and Hearts away. And pick up four points out of four and be undefeated is way more than they could have asked for. Of course, Hearts, you know, did play midweek. Obviously, I think both Ember clubs are struggling with that. But, I mean, come on, if we want this league, right, as a whole, to move forward and actually compete, in, we, we, we can't give the excuse of, oh, but they were playing midweek. That's why they're shite. No, no, they need to fucking sort themselves out, man. You can't beat Lucerne 3 1 and then get pumped by. I know they didn't really get pumped by Mother Well, but Hibs were awful, man. Were they worse than Hearts today? Probably not, but uh, it doesn't really doesn't really work as an excuse for me, if I'm going to be honest. But that's two games in a row. Kelly have been really good. And moving forward, I, I was a wee bit sceptical about Kelly this season. A lot of people put them in the top six, but you know, I know it's only two games or maybe 36 to go, but I look at Kelly and I think, yeah, I think it's not just because they're four points clear, but they look way more of a finished article than Hibs, for example. Um... Hearts, I think Hearts still will come good, to be honest. I don't. I, I wouldn't say there's anything to worry about from a Hearts perspective, but if you're going to play bad, at least get a draw. And that's exactly what Hearts did in the end here. They managed to get a 0-0 draw, but you need to be winning these games, man. Like if, if anyone outside the old firm's ever going to win the league, and I'm not, I'm not just piling all that pressure on Hearts, by the way, but if anyone really is, you need to be winning this game. I mean, you look at Hibs. Zero points for two. Aberdeen, one point for two. Hearts have got four for two, which doesn't sound too bad, but considering they've played St. Johnson, who I think are probably going to finish with one of the, the record lowest points totals, are just fucking shite. St. Johnson, man, any team that's playing St. Johnson, you get their money. You get the money on them because St. Johnson are getting pumped. Um, but realistically, man, Hearts should be winning this game, and they didn't. And they didn't. Going into the second half... Not an awful lot going on. I mean, Shankland got booked first half. I thought Shankland was shite, letting do my fantasy team again. Um, it wasn't a good day for the... F See, yesterday I was ranked, what, 284th out of the total, the total website, man. Today, it completely went backwards. Absolute shit show. Um, but the game, um, seen itself out. Shankland, as I said, pretty uneventful for uh, him. But it is what it is. And Matty Kennedy... Actually got player of the match as well. Man of the match, well, man of the match, that's what he got. But again, I don't like these excuses of, of Europe, but that's what they're going to go with. I mean, you've got Naismith, the Hearts technical director, Stephen Naismith, talking about after the game about, oh, well, we're going to do a bit more in Europe. This He's going to be hitting Thursday, Stevie. If you play like this, fucking, I don't care if Rosenberg drew with Crusaders with the beat use last week. So, I mean, realistically, right? Hearts at Tyne Castle, if they turn up and play to the best of their ability, I think they should smoke Rosenberg, right? But if they play like this, it's got nil-nil right over it. So hopefully Hearts do do it for the coefficient. And uh, yeah, 
But will they? You'll have to find out here later on Full Football. But until next time, guys, that is it for this weekend of Cinch Premiership action. It was fun. It was entertaining. A lot of the matches were actually decent. But again, what is it with me watching nil nils? Last week it was Aberdeen living in and again I didn't actually watch this game but in sports scene it wasn't a pretty match. But either way guys, till next time, peace. <laughs>